Hey folks, so this is a, a very very short video, no playing in this one, no, but I might uh, chop in some of the videos from the previous Maggio lessons. But I've had a couple of questions um, relating to how how we should go around practicing, certainly the Maggio initial stage of the, the Maggio system. <coughs> Warm up A and B, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, etc. And I think um, there's a degree of common sense to be obviously uh, applied to any system that you take on and usually be a working from uh, a beginner band book like Standard of Excellence or um, Accident Achievement or, or even older books like, like Arbin etc. You, you generally start at the beginning because that's where we start. We start at the beginning. We have to start off with something. Most of us are approaching the Maggio technique from an area of certainly playing for a little while so we can play trumpet. We can do that. We want to refine. We want to expand their abilities, quite often that's just range, but none of these techniques are, are specifically about that. <coughs> so specifically about how we go around setting up an order or a practice regime for this. I would say, and I've, I've been through the literature, it doesn't appear to be a definitive answer, but in terms of <coughs> um, starting with warm-up A and lesson one and being really familiar and comfortable with your exploits into the pedal register and I have got um, uh, my own video relating to basically getting familiar with the pedal register, getting down there <coughs> and then obviously learning to use that pedal embouchure which is essentially lesson one of Maggio as we ascend up throughout whatever our range of the instrument is. So starting off with lesson one preceded by warm-up A makes perfect sense, but where do we go from there? Do we just stick with warm-up A and one, three and five? Well, I don't think so, because that is the one bit of information that <coughs> at the very, very beginning of the lessons and, and the warm-ups, etc. in the Maggio system that we're working from, or I am working from, Carlton Macbeth talks about alternating Warm up A and warm up B. Now, from my own experience and working on these videos, playing Maggio, not to death, but maybe exclusively on a day to day to day basis, I get very tight here. You know, I find it quite challenging to remain relaxed. <coughs> so, initially, I would say once, once you're comfortable with warm up A and lesson one, then stick with that for a wee bit. You know, make sure that everything's happy and obviously build your other practice around this so make sure you've got some nice gentle lip flexibilities going on make sure you're resting plenty as what as, as well i'm a huge fan of drinking lots of water um trying to stay away from the caffeine etc as well when, when, when playing doesn't always work and then learn warm-up b and learn lesson two and then you've got a nice alternate option there for Maggio whilst doing all of your other exercises as well. And don't forget to play tunes as well. Because we need to kind of like open the ears to melody and harmony, etc. Because one of the things I found with Maggio as I progressed is that if I'm not careful, <coughs> my playing can become quite static and, and, and rigid. And I don't think that's a, a negative to the Maggio technique, but for example, imagine you only did Caruso, you know, or, or like the, the, the Magic Note technique, which is, I think, the, the three separate exercises, something for a different lesson. Anyway, you become very, very, very stiff, etc. Now, I'm not saying that's what the Maggio technique will do, but if you don't address or don't go into these studies with a degree of common sense and balance your playing out, then you may not get as many benefits as you would hope to. So there will be a little video coming up um, and it's going to be all playing. I might talk a little bit at the beginning, but it's going to be all playing about me doing a warm-up maintenance routine. <clears throat> I'm going to try and keep it super short, around about 11 minutes, and we can look at that as well, post actually that, that playing video. And as you progress through warm-up A and warm-up B, lesson one and lesson two, you'll find that you're ready to progress onwards because as we go through one through five, the actual demands of our technique and ability throughout, which is essentially probably the three octaves, if you even just count from our pedal C to our top C, <coughs> the demands of, of our 
playing become a little bit more intense, not harder by any means because we've learned all these skills as we go along, we've learned and reinforced our tongue positions, we've learned our articulations, etc, etc, etc. So by the time we get to lesson 5, which has just been posted on the channel, we should be able to dip into any one of these lessons that we like. I'm a huge fan of, of lesson 1. It's one of my go-to um, lessons, I think I said this in the previous video as well, so when I go to lesson, <coughs> lessons or studies, if I haven't played for a while, or I really just get a, a quick practice in, I can, that means I can touch the pedal C and I'll go up as high as I can, etc. And, and that sometimes is just enough. But knowing how to do that is, is quite important. So going maybe from just like 1, 3 and 5, you, you've not done the intricacies of, of, of lesson 2 where you're you're crossing octaves etc or, or lesson 4 and all the intricacies that we have to really kind of look at the minutia of when we're progressing through these studies. It's like opening Arben on page 1 and then trying to do one of the 14 studies or Carnival of Venice. It, maybe that's an extreme example but that's not really really going to happen. So <clears throat> bear that in mind, you know start at the beginning Take your time. Always remember not to try and force the upper register. Let it happen. You, whatever you top out in your upper register, it may be a G on the stave. That doesn't mean that you can't progress on to warm up B in lesson two, etc. The thing is, it's like you're trying to grow your sound all the time. It's not about the range. It's about the fullness of sound. You know, it's about trying to. Whatever dynamic you play at, it's about having the nicest, fullest sound as possible. When you start forcing stuff, you're starting to like really, really fight the trumpet and, and eat into your own energy and ultimately your sound is not going to benefit from that. I, neither is your stamina or, or range for that matter of fact. So, starting off with warm up A, lesson one, warm up B, lesson two and take it from there. And it may be that you have a day or two between each module technique or maybe you just want to do the module warm ups and then go and do your other thing. I'm a huge fan of getting the more, the pedal technique warmed up as well before going into doing anything. And I'll demonstrate that as well in one of the playing videos that are coming up. So that's all. I'd hope to get this done in five minutes. Ain't happened. So uh, I will see you in the next video. Um, not sure. We may be going straight into Maggio warm up. See, I'll maybe try and get this warm up video up before then. Take a wee break from Maggio. Stay safe, folks. Stay smart, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.